First, I want to say thanks to all the comments that I got on my last sketch video. And to those of you that gave it a go uh, and came up with some issues, uh, you know, I don't see your parts. I haven't seen them. I don't know what you did, how you did things, or any of that. But I'm going to say that there's a pretty good chance that you may not have had persistent relations turned on when you were creating your sketches, okay? Because it's a new tool, there's new methods, new things you have to pay attention to, and I'm not saying you didn't pay attention to them, all I'm saying is, is that this is what came to mind when I heard of some of the issues that you were having. So I'm just gonna keep it real simple and I'm gonna demonstrate this with a single line. So I'm gonna draw in a line just like that. Now I'm gonna pick that line and I'm going to tell it to be horizontal. Now before I say make horizontal, notice that my create persistent relations is turned off. That line is now horizontal. I'm going to pick it and I'm going to say make vertical. That line is now vertical. If I pick that line and go back to horizontal, that line is now horizontal. That relation has been applied it's telling it to be horizontal and in this case it's moving it looks like it's there but the relation is not persistent so I'm gonna guess you may have done something where you applied a, a relation but it wasn't a persistent relation now if I turn on make persistent pick my line and say horizontal well there's my persistent relation right there if I pick this and say go vertical, something happens. This time I get a message, okay, saying the curve could not be moved as requested. Try relaxing dimensions and or relations, okay. So that is now locked into being horizontal. And what that message was saying is, well, I can't move it because it's locked in. It's persistent. If I go to relax relations, pick this and say make vertical, well, something very different happens this time. It goes into the make vertical relations dialog, and you'll note it wants to make the line vertical, and the relation that I have applied on there turns magenta, indicating that if I select OK, it's going to make it vertical and remove the horizontal relation. All right, so the new solver operates very differently than almost all other solvers. You don't have to go in there and delete these relations. Okay, if they're persistent and you want to delete it, if I pick that relation and hit delete on my keyboard, it's gone. I'm going to undo that, but if I pick it and say, all right, well, I want you to be horizontal. And the reason why it goes into this is saying, well, it's going to make it horizontal. It's going to move it. Is this really what you want? And if it is, I'm going to remove that vertical that's on there. You can see that vertical. Select OK, and it's gone. So I don't have to go that extra step of deleting. Okay, and that is with this relax relations button. So these relations, yeah, they're like constraints, but in some ways they're a bit more intelligent, right? They're not, they know that if I'm telling this line to go and be this, well, I have to remove this other thing that's on there in order to make it this. And if I turn this off and try to do that again, I get that message saying, I can't do it. So you have the option here to relax things. And then when you apply a different relation using the persistent uh, relation turn on, then the system will do it, but it flags it and says, this is what's going on. Okay, so my guess is 
for some of the people that had issues, you may not have had persistent relations turned on when you created some of those relations. So things are going to move. The system is going to try to auto uh, constrain or create those auto relationships. And based off of those movements, some of those relationships may have changed their type because they're non-persistent. Okay, there is an inference there of what those relations are. And honestly, my guess is that you, you may not have had that persistent. And another thing that you may have done or may have, you, may, you might have relaxed relations turned on. And because you have that turned on, your persistent relations could potentially go away, do something else. Okay? So like if right now, if I were to pick this line and pick this line and move it, okay, I want it there. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, if I try to grab it and move it, I can't really do anything. All I can do is change the length, right? I can grab it and, and, and manipulate it a little bit. Like if I grab this end over here, I can snap it over there. I can pick that, put on that length. All right, everything everything is there. Now, if I, if I relax the relation, I pick this, make it vertical. Well, in this case, I can't because now I have these dimensions on there. And if I make it vertical, it doesn't know what to do with that dimension, right? This is a distance away from there. So it can't solve that. So in, in, in a situation like this, the system won't even allow you to make that change, okay? So there's a lot to these relations. And again, my guess is because it's new, all of the methods haven't been sussed out completely. So I'm not saying that there still isn't bugs in it. There might very well be. Again, there may very well be things that happen on your system that don't happen on other people's systems because of your setup, the version that you have, et cetera, et cetera. Little bugs happen. It's the nature of software, especially with as fast as things are progressing. Okay. But the big things, the big things, I honestly think it's just a simple understand misunderstanding of proper application of the tool. And again, because the tool is so new, there aren't the proper standards that have been set up in order to know how to use the tool. Okay, so don't give up on it yet. Maybe there's just a few additional things that you need to know and clean up and give it a shot. Give it a shot. I'll be doing a lot more of these videos like this to get into some of the other uh, nuances and details of how all of this stuff operates. Okay?